take a look at this. No, that's not something out of some futuristic sci-fi film. That's a zero emission sea glider and it is coming to our shores. This revolutionary form of transport is part ferry, part plane and part hydrofoil, traveling at high speed off the surface of the water using a phenomenon known as the ground effect. 25 of these gliders are coming to Aotearoa to slash the cost of flying whilst bringing us closer to our 2050 carbon neutral goal. And just this morning, Ocean Flyer, the company bringing the high-tech planes to New Zealand, has announced the Sea Glider prototype has successfully completed its maiden flight. This is big news, and here to tell us more about that is Ocean Flyer CEO Shah Aslam. Morena. Good morning. Uh, congratulations. This Thank is pretty you. exciting. It is. It's uh, look. It's revolutionary, like you said. Um, you know, since the 1960s, helicopters were the last mode of transportation. Um, so I think to see this fly uh, a couple of weeks ago, it's just been amazing, yeah. breathtaking. So many questions, but how do these things work? So this, <laughs> Let's start there. The main question. So they start on their um, hull as they're docked next to the water side. Um, as they gain speed, they rise on their foils, as you mentioned. And then as they gain further speed, they take off and they fly 10 meters above the surface of the water. Uh, wing and ground effect is the cushion of air between the surface of the aircraft and the water. And that allows them to go at high speeds uh, with less battery consumed. Gosh. Um, so what does this mean for us? Because we were just having a conversation before about cost and time. Yes. So what does it mean? So look, this, this will change the way we do transportation in New Zealand, we believe. Um, you know, you're looking at, for example, Auckland to Whangarei, about a 30 minute trip. You're, Stop you, it. Which you can do in about $30. Um, if you bend around the corner to Coromandel, you're looking at about 25 minutes, which you can do in $20. Um, so the idea for us is sustainability is the key, but then also regional connectivity, uh, providing access to people who live in those regions, in terms of healthcare, education, all of that, where they can connect with the larger cities. Um, so yeah, I think sustainability is the key message, but it's also almost becoming a byproduct of all these other benefits that we can achieve through this. This is um, mind blowing, but it's a game changer, right? It is, absolutely. Yeah. How long has this been in the making? How long has it taken <laughs> to get this prototype to the stage that it is at now? It's, it's taken the team at Regent about 12 to 18 months. They've been working on this. Um, so they've got designers, engineers who pretty much all day, every day have been working on this. As you can imagine, taking first flight was a massive step. And I think that milestone suggests that by 2025, 2026, we should have the first sea gliders operating in New Stop Zealand. Stop it. So not, not too far away. That isn't too far away. So how, how, how many of, the, of these do you uh, see being here in Aotearoa? And I imagine they'll be across the country. Yes. That's the goal, right? That's, that's the goal. So at the moment, we've placed an order for 25. We've paid our deposits. We're committed to this. Um, we've ordered 15 of the Viceroys, which are the 12-seaters, and 10 of the Monarchs, which are the 100-seaters. Um, again, they can move passengers, they can move freight um, at extremely affordable rates, um, fast and efficient out of the port. Um, so you cut down the travel time from airport to city centers. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, places like Whangarei, Coromandel, who currently might not have some of these services, all of a sudden they become accessible to the public. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> mind blowing. <laughs> it is. In terms of overseas, you know, we, we, we're hoping to get this here to 2025, 2026. Yes. Yeah. So overseas, how much interest has there been? And where do you expect these to end up? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look, I think regions have done a great job. Um, you know, they've signed up Hawaiian Airlines for the larger ones. They've signed up Brittany Ferries out of the UK. Their order book exceeds $10 billion. Um, so they're a solid company, a lot of interest. Um, again, look, we believe one of the key reasons for that success is that with the limited battery technology at the moment, electric aviation is still probably about 10 to 12 years away. And this is that first step towards making transport sustainable in New Zealand. Gosh, all right, so we've had that first flight. What is the process from now on? What happens? So Regent's full focus now is working on the full-scale prototype, uh, which will be a manned prototype. And we're hoping that by middle slash end of next year, they should have the full scale prototype up and operating. Um, and then after that into production and after that, hopefully we see these flying around New Zealand. Seriously, I mean, I'm blown away, but you've been part of this for a while now. I mean, I mean, how do you feel about it getting to this uh, point? Just goosebumps <laughs> every, every, every day you wake up. Um, you know, we, we started this journey back in December when I first uh, reached out to Billy, CEO and co-founder of Regent. Uh, and then from there, we accelerated pretty quickly. By April, we were in Miami signing the orders. Um, it just made sense. Look, when we looked at it, New Zealand coastal country, 75% of its population mm -hmm. is around the coasts. 
Um, you can fly from the port at airplane speeds. I think this is not just a revolution for transport. It also changes the way the maritime industry operates. Um, and, you know, speaking to Maritime as a regulator, they've been very supportive, um, you know, work, working together with them to get these certified um, and ensure a safe operation. Shah, mind-blowing. Thank you so much and thank you for coming in. Thank you very well. much for having and go, me. And go well. Thank you. Shah Aslam from Ocean Flyer CEO.